Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about the uh, Surface Book uh, Free that's just been released by Microsoft. Now, I've had the Surface Book 2, I know what to expect, and uh, I'm a little disappointed by the new specification. So if we just scroll down here, we can uh, take a look at the spec. As you can see here, uh, there has been little to no change with the display at all. But uh, memory, you think they would have, for the previous price of the Surface Book 2, that it would have been DDR4 or standard before. But they finally gone and uh, doubled the frequency and put DDR4 in the machine and offering up 32 gigabytes. Uh, of RAM which is quite nice but uh, at the new price points it's a little bit steep now if we look at the CPU two generations have passed uh, for Intel so we're now at the 10th generation and uh, they are now offering up two terabyte uh, PCIe SSD now they don't actually mention NVMe anywhere here which is a bit disappointing besides PCIe now is this a proprietary uh, type of uh, NVMe who knows but they don't bother using the term here so it could well be that it is their own personal thing uh, if we scroll down further you can see the uh, new GTX 1660 Ti in there uh, that's got a GDDR6 versus the GDDR5 in the previous version here that must be pretty nice but they have not bothered with the second generation of Nvidia GeForce GDX as to why they've done that it's not necessarily clear perhaps price points and uh, in terms of connections you can see here type A type C is exactly the same there's been no revision here whatsoever which to some extent is not a bad thing considering some of the competitors have not bothered to even include a uh, card reader uh, still be disappointing that there is no uh, HDMI uh, port for you to connect to you still have to use a dongle to do that and you think they would get rid of a type A to sacrifice that for a type C but that has not been the case Uh, they have updated the Wi-Fi to be AX compatible as to what speed you might expect that's still unknown uh, the latest version of Bluetooth wireless version 5 always nice to see that this here is rather disappointing now they got an 18 here let's take a look So what they have done here is they are not including Windows 10 Pro. They are saying you can switch to it. Now this laptop is geared towards developers, content creators, people working in the technical field, design. So that is incredibly disappointing that they are now forcing you to pay them for an update to a premium piece of hardware such as this honestly Microsoft I'm not sure what you're attempting here but that is not a good move on your part no network uh, no Ethernet uh, but we already knew that from the previous model would like to see that the weight <laughs> funny enough appears to be the same 
Although surely that might vary with the 32 gigabyte of RAM just a little bit. No new sensors have been added. So essentially what we're expecting here is just some minor upgrades with the CPU, the RAM, uh, a downgrade of the software you get, the operating system. The connections are the same for the most part, uh, with the exception of the network adapter being more update, up to date, with a better Bluetooth uh, connection and the AX supported for the network. And there's the possibility of getting a two terabyte PCI SSD, which no doubt you will pay out of the nose for. So if we just take a look at buy now and actually look at the prices they expect you to pay for this new premium hardware, which funny enough only has three stars. Let's just take a look at the reviews real quick. Someone's hating on the uh, sound card in there. I've had no problems with the Surface Book 2, but some people uh, vary in opinion. It might just be a bad uh, batch, you know, first release, there's going to be some bugs. That's why you probably should never buy a piece of hardware straight off the bat. Bummer for that guy having two bad video cards. Like I said, buying new hardware, be it a computer, a car, you get the first version off the uh, off the line, and you may get stung. They gotta work out the kinks. So yeah, if we go to configure here. And we take a look. So 13.5 inch. We're looking at two and a half thousand dollars right there. And that is only for the 512 gigabyte SSD right there. That's not for the one terabyte, which they list as out of stock for an extra hundred. Oh, sorry, two hundred dollars on top of that. That is 32 gigabyte of RAM though, which is uh, not bad in terms of the price difference. 15 inch, two terabyte is currently out of stock. And for the extra two terabyte, there is a $400 difference. Now, do they know that you that price is greatly inflated? If you were to buy an SSD right now, price difference between a one terabyte and a two terabyte ranges around 200 to 300 dollars now so they're really upping the uh, market right there and cashing in on that so as you can see it this has been rather disappointing I, uh, I think this is very much a, a cash grab on part of Microsoft. And I don't agree with what they're intending with this in terms of the price points. I yeah, If you've got a Surface Book 2, there is absolutely no reason for you to upgrade to this new model. Absolutely none. Unless, of course, you're incredibly rich and you want to bite the bullet of uh, paying that much money just for some minor uh, specification updates. Well, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this uh, video. I appreciate you watching it. Thanks.